break my arm? More on this in a, in a few seconds. Arm, arm, head. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video I logged in. Today is going to be an interesting video. It's not going to be anything about school. It's going to be about this. And, um, this as well as this, if you can see it. So, I can have epileptic seizures, which means I have epilepsy from my DNA. So, when I was taking out the trash, my, um, but, um, but when I, I almost, like, walked into the door, um, of my house, and it actually started midway, so this is where this comes in, I think this is, like, the door thing, um, don't, I'm not gonna touch anymore, because it is, it could be effective, and I also have these, like, um, areas, it looks like I punched the ground, but I fell on the concrete, which I think the, the, my head is, the door, like, my head, I don't know what happens, um, but, and, like, so, my body closed for three seconds, meaning I couldn't see anything for three seconds, and then, after that, like, after the three seconds went into my head, I was sit sitting on the stairs, I'm like, what happened? I looked down at my hand, which you can clearly see. I thought I did not put enough lotion on, even though I put lotion on every day. And I asked people, like, do you have lotion? And I was lethargic. I was, like, really groggy. Um, the, this is um, my third seizure. Uh, no one knows what type it is because... My mom had a theory that I was in trouble, but at the same time, she didn't check up on me until my parents realized I was gone for about 10, 12 minutes. And then when my mom came downstairs to check on me, uh, I had just recently get, came out of it, apparently. But when I came out of it, I was on the, sitting on the stairs, and I, um, well, I live in an apartment building, but, um, it's not like it's not one. It's not a high rise. It's it, there's two levels, but yeah. So I I was like, oh my god, did I break my arm? Like what happened? So I am. My hand is getting a bit better, but at the same time, it hurts. So that's why I'm typing even on my Mac, which is kind of hard. So. And I have to take more time on things, even though I have a lot of things to do, and it's stressful. And um, I might need a CPL or a seizure alert dog or epileptic um, alert dog because they can um, tell you between 15 to 45 to an hour, um, um, 45 to 60 minutes in advance. Of the seizure and the dog will actually if it's a if it's like a grand mal seizure not a silent seizure grand mal is if you're just like flying if your body is like flying all over the place silent seizure is just with when my eyes are in the back of my head and i'm not responding um but yeah so hopefully i don't need that because it's expensive to get a cpl dog and it's training in pennsylvania um I have to be there for three weeks, so either I miss school for three weeks or I do it during my summer break. So that's a thing. So that's the end for today's video. In the links below, I have multiple links, many of them since I reside in Ohio. Um, just look up um, CPL dogs uh, near Ohio or whatever state you live in. Um, but I have links if you live in Ohio. I have links for CPL dogs. And I also have training. And the nearest one for um, training, is, which is three weeks, with the handler, which is me if I ever needed one. Um, but I'm still unclear about that. Um but let's say I needed one, and I would just go to that link, and I would go ask my doctor and a bunch of stuff. 
and also included in the description why you shouldn't distract a um, service animal or service dog. And I also included a list um, based on the website, which I did include the link, which, what quali which animal qualifies as a service animal. And one of them is a ferret. And you no, know, it's not Draco Malfoy for all you Potterheads there. Although I wish it was because Draco um, Malfoy is my king. But anyways, bye.